This is Wendy Medor. She is the, um, not the founder, but she is the co-chair and she puts on this big bowling event every year. Why don't you talk to you a little bit about what it has meant to you to be part of it? That's a tough one. Um, I mean, we started this to get uh, a little exposure for cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of grew from a, like Jerry says, a really simple um, event to a full-blown, catered, high-class affair, which is also um, very intimate, very relaxed. I mean, if you, you were out on the lanes, it's, it's just a very easy event. Um, I learned a lot about myself doing this. I didn't think I could ever pull this off. The first year, I think I had a panic attack. Woke up and go, what are you doing? And then from there, it's just like, a, it's just grown. It's just grown into a pretty special event. And I every have year family gets... that have had cancer. I've lost cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and every year it gets bigger and bigger. Every year it gets bigger and every year people donate more. Mm -hmm. Every year the generosity is just um, unbelievable, profound. And alongside of you this whole time for these 10 years have been Jerry Verdorn and Liz Kiefer. Who Hello. played? <laughs> <laughs> who played a husband and wife uh, on Guiding Light. And Jerry has since moved on to One Life to Live. What does this event mean to both of you? Well, to me, it meant coming out of the hibernation. From, because when I was diagnosed, I really was interested in becoming the poster boy for any kind mm -hmm. of daytime cancer or anything. So I was not doing anything. I was asked to do stuff by the American Cancer Society and other people, but you know, I was still under the covers. And then they came, and Wendy and uh, Liz came up with this bowling idea and said it would be, you know, brief. <laughs> and it would be painless, and you could lay a nice check on the American Cancer Society and then have a beer and go home. So I thought, that's okay. And then uh, I did it that first year that we did it the first year, and uh, it went well, and it was painless. And I did go home, and I, they did give me my beer, I promise. And then uh, or else you it, so, it back. felt so good to give that check to the American Cancer Society because mm -hmm. they're so appreciative uh, that we just sort of stumbled on and kept going and uh, she became an event coordinator mm -hmm. par excellence and uh, now we're you know, dealing legitimately with the corporate world and getting some stuff, that freebies that turn into dollars for the American Cancer Society. So I'm very happy this happened. That's fantastic. Liz, what are your thoughts? Well, I'm just so humbled to be a part of this. He approves. <laughs> he approves of your work. She approves. She approves. <laughs> Thank <laughs> it's you. Just you and I, yeah. Jerry, on this. I, one. I'm just so thrilled to I, 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 to be here and, and and lend my support. I mean, I just feel like I'm honored mm -hmm. to be uh, a part of this. And uh, I mean, it, Wendy's the one that is the bull about this every single year and this is you know it just comes back to the, this is the date this is where we're going to do it again blah, blah, blah. so um i'm just humbled and honored to be here with these people and these my friends and this this has hit home um in for me personally uh -huh. um in my own blood family and in my dying light family so um, I'm, I'm happy to help help this event itself. Awesome. And Jennifer, Roselle, you have been in um, an, at the event a number of years, probably. I think I've come every year. Yeah. I, I think you won or yeah. something. You definitely, yeah. but I, I think, um, yeah, what, basically I'm just a sucker for Jerry. So <laughs> that's what it is. I, just, I can't say no. Uh, no, I, I really, I'm just happy to be here to su support this. I'm happy to celebrate Jerry's health. I'm happy to I knock wood, exactly, and um, I'm happy to, um, it, cancer as well as has touched my own life and family, mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, cancer research is very important, and um, so I'm, I'm very, uh, just happy to be here and support, and it's a really fun event. Yeah. Um, it's, um, to echo what Wendy said, it's very casual, it's fun, there's a lot of, like you can have real conversations with people, and I, I like that. I like seeing um, the people who support have supported soap operas and support this event every year. You see the same people mm -hmm. um, year after year, and I really like that. Um, so it's it's a, a friendly, fun event, and uh, for a really good cause. So I'm happy to be. There. 
and the, the three of us, uh, four of us, five of us, however many there are, speak for uh, a lot of volunteers who we affectionately call the elves, who <laughs> get themselves to New York. Everything's on a volunteer basis. They give dollars, they give time, they give energy, and they get a lot of love. And they are the basis and the foot soldiers for putting this day together. And there's, there's logistically, <laughs> It's not easy. And a lot of people don't realize that, but it, it's it's our own <clears throat> time, mm -hmm. it's our own vacation, it's our own dollars. But we have the best time. Yeah. I mean, this this group of, of volunteers is incredible. Um, some of them I served with in the military over 30 years ago. Wow. So it's a, it's such a good group, but they've made it good for us. I mean, you know, and, and everybody has. It's a great event to come. It stands for itself to say how many soaps are still on the air, mm -hmm. and our tenth is the biggest one. So what does that say? We're doing something right. Yeah. Well, you guys have put on a fantastic event every year. You should be Thank proud you. of yourselves. And uh, I'm going to go check out the lanes and see how your talent is doing okay. out there. Thank if you they're not coming. doing good, then you're yeah. quite welcome. Thank you, you for look, having me. Look after Grant and Mike. <laughs> I'm on 27 on the third. Okay, who's up, Kelly? Uh, third take. All right. So it's almost eight, eight a time. Average. That's okay. Average. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lenny is on 30 after three, so that's you know a little better. A little better. Kelly is uh. Um, let's not even say what Kelly's on. <laughs> Kelly hasn't hit a pin yet. Kelly has got a few pins. She's on about nine, so that's an average of three. Well done, Kelly. Um, and Cindy, our star striker, is here with us today. She's getting strikes every time. Wow. So she's a full person. Yeah. I think she's a professional. How many years have you come to this? You bowling? Right now, I'm bowling like a like a PBA bowler. Sounds good. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're catching on to the game. Oh, right there.